What's going on you guys? It is Kojin and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about post awakening and what you do to get strong. Assuming that you're about level 2500, these are the things I would worry about while leveling to 4000. Firstly, you should work on getting towards level 3000. This is where the game truly begins. You can get here through an assortment of EXP dungeons with EXP buffs on and burning missions. This will allow for you to go to purgatory. This is majorly important. This dungeon allows for you to equip the prosperity set, which I'll be going over later, but this is just the start of that. Rosen Garden weapon. 1800 decision. Make sure this this is properly enchanted. Proper stats while enchanting this weapon are at least minimum 30 minimum damage and at least 90 or more max damage on this weapon. This will improve your dungeon performance drastically. Also be able to fully upgrade it. You can upgrade this weapon by gathering materials in the treasure test from defeating the Rosen Garden dungeon. 400 accuracy. This is for EXP dungeons. All hard mode dungeons past Sunset Forest require more than 400 accuracy. Acquire this by obtaining buffs that will help you gain more accuracy through events. Certain pets also will give 15 to 20 accuracy. All classes give an extra 35 for main classes and 60 accuracy for subclasses. This is one of the reasons people use subclasses is to hit that threshold a bit easier until they get better gear to facilitate more accuracy. Also keep in mind that every class can pick one main class and one subclass. So freely choose in between the two. Chances are you will be doing every dungeon on easy unless you're getting a fat carry. Doing these dungeons on a higher difficulty will result in more loot. Here's some suggestions. Unless someone is offering you a good fallen set, for cheap, I do not recommend going this route on your own. You will likely waste a lot of money. This set is good for damage, however, it tends to leave you more on the frail side. And this is what I'm trying to avoid. So be sure to enchant accuracy on your helmet of prosperity for the best result gain for your nerf. 45 or more accuracy can help reduce the amount of buffs you will need while doing EXP grinding. Next up, high critical damage enchant on prosperity gloves. The prosperity set gives 180 critical damage for wearing the set, so you will need at least 120 critical damage to be on a better average than most fallen sets. This is not an easy feat for the first time, however, genuinely people are done with this set since it is not the best armor in the game anymore as of recent. You may find gear like this for cheap from friends or from someone who is selling a set. Enchanting movement speed on your prosperity set shoes. Enchanting a good movement speed stat can enhance your gameplay and performance in dungeons heavily. I suggest trying to add at least 75 or more movement speed. Level up your summonables passives. Specifically at this point in the game, you should be worried mostly about two summonables in specific. Beatrice and Unia. These two summonables are extremely important to your overall DPS. Be sure to level the passive skills first, then the skills secondly. Unia is a summonable that will buff your max HP and stats heavily while providing shielding while it's casted. As for Beatrice, this summonable facilitates a lot of max damage and critical damage on its passive set. So be sure to level those first as they will boost your damage tremendously. Max out all gear between 3000 and 3700. The prosperity set in max form is called Lucent Set. You must have all the set pieces maxed to enjoy the full benefit of the set, as it will give you more accuracy and critical damage and much more. Without this set, it will be very hard to solo or even duo most dungeons at this stage. Practice your skill class rotation. Every class has a skill set rotation that helps them stay alive. Whether it is through awakening runes or naturally good skills, be sure to master the art of your own class, even if it's to a minuscule point. Dungeons beyond this point are not easy, so practice up. Work on your Ellie gain rate. Ellie gain is a stat that defines how much money you will get from an enemy. Every enemy has a set range of Ellie that it gives when it dies. Ellie gain is a modifier that will change that number exponentially based off of your Ellie gain. There are a ton of guides that are older, but they're still very accurate so I advise to check them out. You will need at least 2,500 Ellie Gain to make a solid living from Ellie Gain dungeons. Acquire Ellie Gain by enchanting accessory badge item slots and through pets. There are quite a few pets that all give Ellie Gain. Although most of them are premium pets, they are harder to obtain. You should be able to obtain the basic ones off of other players or through the cash shop. Obtain as many pets as you can. At this point, I'd say pets are responsible for about 15 to 20% of your damage, but also about 10 to 35% of other utilities as well. Pets are crazy important, but unfortunately, they are really hard to obtain. You will have to wait around for flash sales, buy them off other players, which most of the time they're price gouging, and sometimes they will give away free ones through events that they host. And by they, I mean the GMs and the server developers. Pets can be a make or break for your character. There are two pets I'm considering a must have for battle. Kalium, which gives immortality for 10 seconds and heals your character for 50%, or Kinshiro, which gives immunity for two seconds. These two pets are an absolute must. Currently, only Kinshiro is openly available through the cash shop. Kalium, you will have to buy from other players. Wait until the event comes for you to either buy one 
or obtain one through flash sales. Memorials. This is simply just the start of this puzzle piece. At level 3500, you fully unlock memorials. Just be sure to unlock all of your pieces. Don't worry too much about this in this level range. Last but not least, Friends. Friends will make this go way faster. As you can see, there are a number of things that you can do to enhance your character, but it will take some time to work all of this out. By the time this guide will not be of use to you, you may already be Ascension level 5000 or more. A lot of this game is dependent upon events and the things that the game will give you at times. Ask some friends to help you do some dungeons until you can get strong enough to solo. It took me six months to complete my first theater run and it wasn't pretty i died over 20 times so take your time with it a lot of this game is patience and waiting for the right time to progress in the meantime you will find yourself grinding exp daily doing your weekly challenge and getting occasional normal dungeon leeches word of advice do not go into debt to fund your character. There are a ton of people who will sell you service on a loan. Do not do this at all unless you're okay with it. I heavily advise against it because it causes burnout and makes you feel like you're playing the game for someone else instead for your own game. This game is a lot about the amount of time played and the amount of time put into it. And Ellie means everything in this game. So everybody is after it and it is important for you to understand the value of Ellie very, very early. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace.